Brittany Hottinger has had an epic senior season, breaking a record last week, earning five Patriot League Player of the Week honors. The forward coming off her 11th double-double of the season, and no surprise, she'll get things going in this one. Hottinger hot from the corner. She'll have two of her four triples in the first frame to open up a seven-point advantage. Holy Cross will come within one, though, thanks to a 10-4 run. Lehigh in front, 15-14 after one. A very even second quarter between the two squads. Visitors outscoring Lehigh just 13 to 12. As we'd be even come halftime, the score 27 all at the break. Out of the locker room, it's Holy Cross looking like they might pull away. Up by eight with 6.09 to play off the Kara McCormick three. But the home team not going away so easy. They'll cut that deficit in half, trailing by four, heading to the fourth. Skipping ahead to the final two minutes of the quarter, Addison Cross knocking down a huge three to make it a six-point lead for the Crusaders. But then it's Mackenzie Kramer with a number of clutch shots, the first to make it a one-point game and then another off the inbound. The fadeaway jumper from the elbow ties us up at 69, and we will head to overtime. Kramer continued to be clutch in OT as well, Lehigh down one. Kramer feeling it, the step back three making it 76-74 Mountain Hawks. She'll finish with 21 points and a huge rebound to seal it. Lehigh wins it 76-74, your final. And the coaches, players, everyone's so confident in me whether I've missed three in a row or made three in a row, so it's hard not to be confident in yourself when you do that. You know, sometimes in the fourth quarter you got to make shots and our uh, leading scorers found a way to carry us um, and a lot of our pieces played great too, which was awesome. Holy Cross outscored Lehigh 22-9 in the fourth quarter during their first meeting, but those fourth quarter woes officially coming to an end for the Mountain Hawks thanks to an emphasis on a strong finish that making all the difference in handing the Crusaders their first league loss of the season. I think it says that we're not going to back down and we're really going to keep going no matter what. There's different points in the fourth quarter where we could have given up for sure, um, but we didn't and that made it super fun and that's why we pulled it out. Um, yeah, we're always always saying we got to fight till the end, play all 40 minutes. I mean, I guess 45 in the last couple of games, but yeah, play all 40 to 45, I guess. But uh, yeah, we got to come in and fight for every single possession. Can't can't lose it in the fourth quarter. That was a lot of our games in non-conference, so we were tested there, and we're slowly starting to figure it out now this year. On the scene at Stabler Arena, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the SC Network.